Welcome to the 13th match of the 2019 IQ season, co-sponsored by New Horizons Credit Union and the Mobile County Public School System. Hi everyone, I'm Bob Grip. I'm your quiz master for the day. Today's match features high school students from Baker, Williamson, and the home team, McGill to Winpack. The questions you're going to hear this morning are prepared in 16 categories by educators throughout the country who are all experts in their fields. They try to make the questions equally challenging. Here's how the points are awarded. In a regular category, each team will receive its own question in that area. The teams will then have 15 seconds and four opportunities to answer. A correct answer on the first try is worth four points. Each time an incorrect answer is given, it's worth one less point. And if a team misses it entirely, either of the other two teams can gain one point with a correct answer. And I'll explain some of the other scoring as we go on. Okay, now we'll start with current events questions to everybody. Good luck. Score as many points as you can. McGill, here is your question. It's estimated that between 1.15 million and 2.41 million tons of plastic enter the ocean each year from rivers. The largest garbage accumulation is in which ocean? Pacific. Correct, four points. All right, Williamson. Amelia Telford grew up loving the land and the people who lived on it. At age 24, she is the national director of an organization which supports climate activism. Give the four-letter acronym for this organization. Five seconds. Push. Try again. Baker. What is it again? Seed. Seed is right. Very good. <laughs> Baker, here's your question. At a Buddhist temple in Vietnam, a 92-year-old monk quoted by presidents as one of the most influential spiritual leaders of our times is refusing medication and is quietly transitioning from this life. Give the last name of this celebrated monk. Han. Right, Thich Nhat Hanh is right, very good, four points. <laughs> Topic is American history, back to our home team. General George B. McClellan's Peninsula Campaign was a slow waterborne approach to a southern city. Give the name of the city. Richmond. Right, four points. Williamson, in 1865, a South Carolina congressman attacked Senator Charles Sumner of Massachusetts over the issue of slavery in Bleeding, Kansas. Give the last name of this congressman. Smith. Try again. Johnson. Try again. McGill buzzed in too early. Baker? Brooks. Brooks is right. Preston Brooks. Very good. <laughs> Baker. Most of the five civilized tribes in Indian Territory sided with the Confederacy. In particular, this slave-owning tribe found common cause with the South. Give the name of this Native American tribe. Apache? Try again. Choctaw. Try again. Comanche. Try again. Cherokee. Yes, one point. Cherokee. <laughs> Sorry. Topic is biology. Back to our home team. Some birds will follow the first object they see immediately after hatching. Name the process that allows a maturing animal to form preferences or social attachments to other individuals that influence behavior later in life. Socialization. Try again. Learned behavior. Try again. Innate behavior. Try again. Vocalization. Nope. Teams, wait for the buzzer if you'd like to answer Baker. Imprinting. Yes, imprinting is right. One point. <laughs> Williamson. Name the study of how natural selection shapes behavior. Five 
five seconds. Baker? Ethology? No. McGill? Evology? No. Behavioral ecology. That's what I needed. Baker? Identify the type of behavior displayed by a bird singing from its perches around the perimeter of the area it occupies to prevent invasion of its home range by a neighboring bird. Territorial behavior? Yes, we'll take that. Very good. All right, time for a sports toss-up. So teams, hands on your buzzers. First team to push its buzzer answers first. Four points for a correct answer. And you can buzz in any time you think you've heard enough of the question to know the right answer. Here it is. A Colorado outfielder led the major leagues with 213 hits, 137 runs scored, 14 triples, and 383 total bases in the 2017 season. His 331 batting average was tops in the National League, which was the fourth time in five years that a Rockies player led the NL in batting. Give me the last name of this National League batting champ. Baker. Christian Yelich. No, sorry. McGill or Williamson. Nope, it was Charlie Blackman. Charlie Blackman was the answer we needed. No points on that. We're gonna move to literature now. In Agatha Christie's short story titled Tape Measure Murder, Name the one specific thing Miss Marple believes Constable Paul picked up and took from the murder scene at the Spenlow's cottage. A pin. That's right, four points. <laughs> Williamson, in Tony K. Bambera's short story titled Maggie of the Green Bottles, give the name of the narrator's family dog. McGill? McGill buzzed in early. Baker? Mr. Tyler? No. Mr. T? Mr. T is what I need. Mr. T. All right, Baker. In William Saroyan's short story titled, Fight Your Own War, although Enrico's cousin never showed up at his door to collect or sent the matter to a collection agency, tell the total amount of money Enrico owed his cousin. $4. $27. Try again. $2. Try again. $40. Nope. Teams, wait for the buzzer if you'd like to answer. McGill. 50 cents. That's right. 50 cents. One point. All right. Now we're going to change the rules once again. We're going to ask some questions in math. Now in math, each team will have 60 seconds instead of 15 to give four possible answers. And each team gets a copy of every question for possible bonus points. So. The first math question goes to McGill, so everyone open your yellow math envelopes, please. Find x if x sine x minus x equals 0, and 0 is less than x is less than pi. Give your answer in radians. Pi over 2. That's right, four points. All right, our next trigonometry question goes to Williamson. Everyone open your red math envelopes, please. Find all values of x if sine x equals sine 2x and 0 is less than x is less than 180. Give your answer in degrees. Thirty seconds left for Williamson to get four possible answers. Ten seconds. Math paper? 
90. Try again. Baker. 45. No, McGill. 60. 60 is right. Next math question goes to Baker. Everyone open your blue math envelopes. Find the smallest positive value of x in radians for which 2 sine squared x plus 5 sine x minus 3 equals 0. One half. Try again. One. Try again. Pi over four. Try again. Pi over two. What was your last answer? Pi over two or nope. pi halves. Nope. Teams, wait for the buzzer if you'd like to answer. McGill. Pi over three. No. Williamson. F pi over six. Yes, that's right. All right, back to some 15 second questions now. And the topic is Shakespeare. In Act Three of Othello, Iago increases Othello's suspicion of Desdemona by reminding him that earlier in their relationship, she had very ably deceived another person. Name the character Desdemona deceived. Rodrigo. Try again. Cassio. Try again. Brabantia. Yes, two points. Williamson, in Act Three of As You Like It, Touchstone has become so enamored of Audrey that he is helping her tend her livestock. Identify the type of animal that Touchstone says, I will fetch up. Okay. Try again. Dog. Try again. Chicken. Try again. Wool. Nope. <laughs> Baker. Go. That's right. Go. All right, Baker, here is your Shakespeare question. In Act Three of The Winter's Tale, the clown tells the shepherd that he was so close to the man being attacked by the bear that he could hear the victim call out two pieces of information about himself. One was that he was a nobleman. Give the other fact the clown heard. His name? That's right. Antigonus. Very good. Four points. <laughs> New topic now. It's geography. An independent principality is located along the southern coast of France. Just northeast of the city of Nice, it is a city-state along the northern Mediterranean coast. Name this city-state. Monaco. Monaco is right. Williamson, a country lies on the eastern coast of the Adriatic Sea. This Balkan country lies between Slovenia and Bosnia-Herzegovina. Name this country. India. Try again. Gil buzzed in early, I believe. So Baker? Croatia. Croatia is right. One point. All right, Baker. A large peninsular country spans both Europe and Asia. In Asia, its southern coast entirely borders the Mediterranean Sea. The peninsula upon which it sits is often referred to Anatolia. Name this country. Turkey. Turkey is right. Four points. All right, we are at halftime in our high Q match. Williamson has one point, Baker has 22, McGill is in the lead with 25 points.
New Horizons Credit Union has been serving its members and the community since 1950. New Horizons Credit Union is a proud supporter of the arts, civic activities, local charities, and higher education, including sponsoring annual scholarship opportunities open to all high schools. Visit New Horizons online at newhcu.org to learn about upcoming supported events that help make this area a great place to live. New Horizons Credit Union, offering its members solutions for the real world. Start with chemistry. State the ion that replaces the hydroxide anion in hydroxyapatite, pentacalcium hydroxide triphosphate in teeth, therefore making them more resistant to dissolution by acids produced by oral bacteria. Fluoride? Right, four points. State the thermodynamic quantity that must increase for an exogonic reaction, such as the burning of gasoline in combustion engines. Five seconds. Baker. Entropy. Right, very good, one point, entropy. Baker. State the classification of elements belonging to group Roman numeral 2A. Alkaline earth metals. Try again. Alkaline metals. Try again. Alkalines. Try again. McGill. Halogens. No. Williamson. The only answer I could accept, which is on the paper here, is metals. Nothing else but metals. Art history is a topic. A Franco-Swiss architect made an outstanding contribution to the postmodern movement with his early 1950s design for the White Chapel of Notre Dame du Haut, which is located on a hilltop in Ronchamp, France. The structure is made of white concrete and stone remnants of the original chapel that was built on the site and destroyed during World War II. The chapel looks like a white barn and silo. A distinctive architectural feature of the chapel is the upturned gray roof that resembles a sail billowing in the windy currents on the hilltop. Give the name of the architect who designed this chapel what he was known. Le Corbusier. Seat. Or we, yes, <laughs> CA, very good. <laughs> Williamson, Philip Johnson brilliantly exploited allusions to Gothic cathedrals in his design for his Republic Bank with its stepped floors and lateral decorations suggestive of stylized pinnacles and spires. Give the name of the US city in which this Philip Johnson uniquely designed Republic Bank is located. Washington? Try again. <laughs> McGill buzzed in too early. Baker. Dallas? No. Houston? Houston. Right. <laughs> right, I asked for the name of the U.S. city. Baker. This artist is an American sculptor associated with pop art and avant-garde art movements. In his work, he blew up seemingly banal objects into giant sizes, transforming fire plugs, tubes of toothpaste, and clothespins into huge sculptures. He also created brightly colored plaster sculptures of desserts, cakes, light switches, and typewriters. Give me the last name of this artist. Lichtenstein. Try again. Warhol. Try again. Johns. Try again. Gattuso. Nope. McGill. Oldenburg. Right. Oldenburg. <laughs> All right, time for a team choice. Before our match began this morning, each team chose the subject it wanted to be quizzed on. There's four points for a correct answer twist in team choices, there's only one answer per team. So teams, if I rule the original team's answer wrong, you can buzz in immediately and then gain two points with a correct answer instead of just one. 
So McGill, you chose literature in William Saroyan's short story titled Laughter. Give the last name of the woman who was Ben's substitute teacher the day he was punished for laughing during class. Uh, Wessig. Right, four points. <laughs> All right, Williamson, you chose geography. A group of Greek islands lies in the southern Aegean Sea. Just north of the island of Crete, they are found between Turkey and Peloponnesus. Name these islands. Five seconds. McGill. Crete. No, sorry. Baker. The Aegean Islands. No, the Cyclades. Baker, you chose American history. Sectional tensions between the North and the South were further strained when Harriet Beecher Stowe published a heart-rending novel in 1852. This novel depicted the trials, sorrow, and tribulations of slavery in the South. Give the name of this novel. Uncle Tom's Cabin. Right, four points. All right, time for our second toss-up of the match. This time it's Shakespeare, so everybody hands on your buzzers. In Act Three of Henry IV, Part One, Mortimer reminds all the conspirators that their forces should meet at a certain English town. Give me the name of the town. Shrewsbury. Right. Very good. Four points. <laughs> Physics is our topic. Back to McGill. State the name given to the phenomenon associated with the tendency of the surface of a liquid to contract due to molecular attractions. Surface tension? That's right, four points. <laughs> Williamson, name the physical quantity that is proportional to an object's mass and defined as the force upon an object due to gravity. Density. Try again. Mass. Try again. Velocity. Try again. Weight. Yes. Very good. One point. <laughs> Baker now. Name the device that is created when multiple turns of a current carrying coil of water or coil of wire is wrapped around a ferromagnetic material. A Tesla coil? Try again. Magnetic field? I... Try again. Tesla. Try again. Oh. Nope. McGill. Colloid? No. Williamson. You may have overthought this, an electromagnet. American government is the topic. To McGill. The Office of Faith-Based and Community Initiatives, now known as the White House Office of Faith-Based and Neighborhood Partnerships, was created to combat drug abuse, homelessness, poverty, and other similar problems. Give me the full name of the president who created this office. George W. Bush. Right, four points. <laughs> Williamson, give the name of this 1853 land purchase that rounded out the southwestern limits of the United States an area that now includes parts of Arizona and New Mexico. It was acquired to provide the best rail route to the Pacific. Five seconds. Did Baker buzz in? Baker buzzed in early, so McGill? Gadsden Purchase. That's right. Very good. <laughs> All right, Baker. Give the name of the power given to the president to grant legal forgiveness of a crime. It is. Pardon. Pardon? Yes, that's right. Four points.
Moving on to world history. The most important French colony in Africa became so tightly bound to the mother country that 10% of its population consisted of Frenchmen. This European minority controlled the government and was fearful of yielding the reign to the native Arabs and Berbers because of potential reprisals and loss of privileges. Give the name of this colony in North Africa that only gained its independence after a bitter and bloody eight-year war with the French. Algeria. Four points, right. <laughs> Williamson now. When Mikhail Gorbachev sent troops in to put down the independence movement in Lithuania, he lost the support of his own people. After an unsuccessful coup by hardline communists, the Soviet Union broke up, after which the Russian people elected the mayor of Moscow as their new president. Give me his last name. Yeltsin. Yeltsin is right. Good point. <laughs> Baker. An ethnic and religious minority in the Middle East has suffered much persecution. They have long agitated for a country of their own, but have been unsuccessful because the region in which they live lies across the borders of Turkey, Iran, and Iraq. Give the name of this minority ethnic group that has been persecuted by all of its neighbors. Kurd. What was Kurd? That? Can you spell it? K U R D. Right, the Kurds, right. <laughs> All right, we're down to the last question in today's contest. It's a math toss up worth four points. Everybody, open your white math envelopes now. Mr. Smith wants to seal his driveway, which is 50 feet long and 12 feet wide. The sealant costs $7.50 per gallon, and a gallon of sealant covers 75 square feet. How much will it cost Mr. Smith to seal his driveway? Baker. $70. Sorry. Up to McGill or Williamson now. 38 seconds left. So you do have 30 seconds for McGill and Williamson. 70. You have to buzz in. You didn't buzz in. Can you, if, you, if that's your answer, buzz in. Gill. 140? That's right, 140. <laughs> At the end of today's match, Baker challenged an incorrect answer. After further review, it was determined Baker answered their chemistry question correctly. So today's final score is Williamson 2, Baker 43, and today's winner, McGill Tulin, with 57 points.